Hey guys, we're gonna go ahead and do an install with a headache crack and a rear hoop on this 2015 GMC. Now this customer has an existing toolbox, so the first thing we're gonna do is get that out of the way. With the toolbox out of the way, the first thing we wanna do is expose the stake pocket. You can see on this GMC uh, that it's covered, but they do give you an outline to be able to expose it. So we're gonna take this utility knife and we're gonna slice through it here and pull it out of the way. Now the one thing you want to do is be sure you don't cut too deep. You don't want to get into your paint underneath here. So now you can see the stake pockets wide open and readily available for our stake pocket uh, bracket that goes down in there. Okay, so we're gonna open our hardware box and in here we're gonna find a baggie full of parts. And we're looking first off to get the stake pocket brackets out of this bag and mounted down in there. So we're gonna remove the uh, long bolt <clears throat> and pull the washer off. We're gonna reinstall that. Just a little few threads in there just to hold it. Then we're gonna take the small bolt out with the fender washer and the regular washer and we're going to go ahead and slip it down in here in the stake pocket and where the hole is inside the bed we'll put that uh, small nut or bolt with washer back in there and we're going to get it snug to where it won't flip around on us down in the stake pocket and then we're going to pull the, the bolt back out we're going to do that on both sides Okay, on the other stake pocket, we got the bolts, uh, the small bolt removed and the long one on there for a handle. Put it down in here, you can see the stake pocket there, um, bracket, and through that hole. Then you just put this in and get it centered on that slot and get it uh, as tight as you can, finger tight, so it doesn't rotate around on you. Then we're gonna pull the, the bolt. Okay, with our stake pocket brackets in place now, we're going to go ahead and set the bed rail here on top of the plastic bed rail and then we're going to line up this slot with the center of that uh, stake pocket mount down in there and then we're going to put the bolt, that long bolt, down through here and start threading it in and we'll just uh, thread that in and get it snug. <clears throat> There's a couple ways to do this. We could assemble the headache rack onto here first and then set it on but we're going to go ahead and do it this way this time where, where we put the the mount on first and get it lined up with the, the edge of the bed um, and then we'll do the other side. Okay, we're here on the other side. We got that bed rail on there. I'm gonna put this bolt down in there and get it hand tight. Okay, so now before we drill anything, uh, we're gonna go ahead and set the headache rack in here and make sure that uh, that's all, that all lines up properly and that we get these uh, put in the proper position. Okay, so we're gonna grab the headache rack here. We're gonna slip one end in, and then drop it down into the other end. There, okay. We're gonna center it up. We can do that a couple ways. We can look at the, the, the brackets, make sure they're in the same position on each side. And then we can see where the uh, nut certs line up in the slots on each side, meaning it would need to go this way a little bit. Okay, now we're even. So we'll go ahead and get these other bolts in. Now in this bag <coughs> is six bolts, shorter bolts with washers. We're gonna go ahead and put all these in. There's one on this side of the rack facing the tailgate. And then there's two on the opposite side that are towards the cab. We'll keep those hand tight <clears throat> while we just check placement one last time, make sure we're centered.
Okay, looks good. And then we're going to go ahead and drill these back holes. Okay, so on this back hole, this is a drill through application. Uh, the size, the bolt size that we use is a 5 16 uh, So we're going to use a bit that's bigger than a 5 16 slightly. The slots are a little over 3 8 about 7 16 So anywhere from a 3 8 to a 5 16 uh, bit will do. And we'll do the other side. So at this point, we would go ahead and put the back bolt in, which is a 5 16 bolt, washer on top, washer and nut on the bottom, and then we'd go ahead and tighten that up. Now in this case, we have a toolbox, so we've got to line these holes with either the holes in the toolbox or, or drill new holes in the toolbox so we can bolt and sandwich all the way through. The other option would be to go ahead and J-hook the toolbox onto the bed rails, but you'd still have to have holes uh, through the, the toolbox in order to, for it to sit down flush on top of the bed rail. Okay guys, so we took the long stake pocket bolts out and we're gonna set the toolbox up on here now that we got the headache rack aligned where we want it. Okay, so we're gonna set it right here and try to find a spot in which when the lid is open, it doesn't hit the headache rack. And so we're gonna check for that here. Probably gonna to wanna to come this way a little bit. Both sides. I think we should give a little more room than that. Okay, and then we want to center the toolbox. Tape measure. Or this way a little bit. Okay, we're centered up there, so in the back hole we can drill up from the bottom through the existing hole we just, we just put in. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and drill the other side as well, back hole. Okay guys, so in order to drill the front hole, we got to measure to find out where that is. And so on these particular bed rails, we know that they were at 13 and three quarter between the back slot and the front slot. So we're gonna go ahead and come in here and make a mark up front. Okay, and then we'll have to measure across the box uh, to see where uh, we're gonna be putting that side to side here to then drill our hole in our toolbox. Okay guys, so I slid the box back, put the bolts back in to get a side to side measurement so I know what, where to put the holes inside the box width wise. So we're at 67 and a half. So the inside box dimensions are at about 69. We need to be at 67 and a half, so we're gonna subtract three quarter inch on each side. That'll tell us side to side where our holes are supposed to be. We're gonna go ahead and oversize this hole a little bit, give us a little bit of adjustment. Okay, so we have our bolts here. We're gonna put down in this hole that we made. I have to do a little fishing around a little bit to find it. There, I felt it fall into it. And we're gonna go ahead and, and it started right in onto the stake pocket there. 
Okay, hand tight that. We're gonna put the back bolt in. Okay, all the way through. That hand tight. Okay, now we're just gonna double check and make sure everything's centered still, nothing moved. And we like the position of everything and then we'll uh, tighten everything up. Okay guys, so the one thing we don't wanna forget is to tighten the bolt that, goes, that holds that stake pocket mount that goes in the side, inside the bed. Sometimes you can do that with the toolbox in place and sometimes it might be a little tougher, so be sure you get that tight first. Then, once that's tightened up, we're gonna tighten the top bolt that goes down into that stake pocket, which is in the corner of the toolbox at this time. We get good good pressure down on it. Okay, that's tightened up pretty good there. Okay, and then we'll move to the back and tighten up this one. Probably have to get a wrench underneath this guy to make sure that nut doesn't spin. Okay, we'll move over to the other side. Get that good and snug. Okay. We're gonna tighten the back bolt. Get that nice and snug as well. Okay guys, with the rail secure, we can go ahead and tighten the bolts here that are closest to the cab. Then we'll come back and tighten the one in the back uh, that's facing the tailgate. So it's not a lot of room in here. So in order to prevent scratching the truck, you might want to just use a box end wrench. Tighten them down pretty snug. Okay, and then we'll move back here and tighten this one up. And do the same thing on the other side. Okay, now that we have that tight, you can see there's a gap in between the toolbox and the headache rack. That has to be there because when the lid comes up, uh, it, it occupies this space here, so that way your lid won't hit your headache rack and scratch it all up. Okay guys, so we're going to go ahead and install the rear hoop. Now in a Chevy, uh, you can see here oftentimes they come with a little plug for the inside hole. So we're going to pop that out real quick. And the stake pockets and the plastic don't line up the same, so we provide a block here. So. This is a filler block, so then it, the plastic and the metal down in there are in line, okay? So we're gonna take the cover off the sticky tape and then we're gonna slip it down in forward towards the cab, all the way down in there, and we're just gonna stick it up against the, the truck. Okay, there it is. We're gonna go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. So at this point, we're gonna go ahead and slip the rear hoop in. On the Chevy, there's a, you see a couple of nuts for the different Chevys to line up properly. When you slide it in, try to slip it in evenly. And then it'll fit down there nice and snug. And then these nuts starts to line up with the, one of these holes. Then you'll put the wing bolt in. So that's how easy it is to get this rear hoop in and out 
of your truck is two wing bolts, and then you slip it up out. Okay guys, so that wraps up our install on this headache rack and rear hoop. Now that can all be done in less than an hour. Uh, with the toolbox, it does add a little extra time. Now the three quarter height rear hoop is a very nice feature. You're able to put ladders, lumber, anything you want on top of this at a slight angle, so nothing uh, slaps the top of your cab. So go check it out at our website, spiderindustries.com.